finally, in this session, we have uh, Hilary Nisdale, um, who is a commercial manager for uh, Fairshare. Uh, obviously, Fairshare very active in helping the industry reduce uh, food waste, one of the biggest issues, I think, we all face, uh, and one thing we can all very play a very significant part in, from, from both from home uh, and into the, uh, into the workplace. Um, so please do welcome uh, Hilary to the stage. Hello. Um, unlike all the other speakers today, I'm not used to public speaking, so please just bear with me. So, I'm also not used to this clicker. There we go. So, like everybody else, we'll talk about the cost of living crisis, but it probably affects us in a slightly different way. Millions of people are facing food insecurity in the UK. So, this year, prices are rising at the fastest rate for 40 years. We've all obviously seen increases in food, energy and fuel prices. But for us, this means that they've led to unprecedented increase in demand. And sadly, at the moment, we don't have enough food to meet that demand. To put that into context, we service 9,500 front-end charities, which might be women's refuges, homeless shelters, breakfast clubs, community feeding. But sadly, we have another 300 on a waiting list that we can't currently service. So this is Fair Share. This is how we operate. So we turn your problem into a social solution. So s surplus food that comes in from the food industry, from suppliers, from all the major retailers, from wholesalers, from the food service industry, we turn that with an army. We have a raft of volunteers who come and help in our 31 uh, regional centres. And they take that food to the frontline charities and to the community groups. Um, we do do some food banks and a few community supermarkets, but our speciality is community feeding. Um, what we believe to get people together, to eat together, and then they get the wraparound services, so they, people checking on their mental welfare, their physical welfare, they can give them advice, they can try and get them into shelters. So it's not just about giving them a bag of food to take home, it's about helping them help themselves. And so we then um, feed these vulnerable people every week. And again, just to put that into context, last year we provided enough food for nearly 129 million meals. So we have two kitchens. We have one at Poplar in London, and we have one in Nottingham. And from those kitchens, we make ready meals, for want of a better word, from surplus food. And again, just to put that into context, the Poplar kitchen makes 5,000 meals a day from food that would have gone in the bin. And let me tell you, it's great food. I've eaten there, it's brilliant. So, let's just have a little look now. Hopefully, there should be a video. Shockingly, over two million tonnes of food a year is wasted within the UK supply chain. Fair Share is tackling this problem in a strikingly simple way. We work with farmers, producers, distributors, and retailers to save good quality fresh food from being wasted so we can get it onto people's plates instead. In practice, it's a huge logistical feat, involving hundreds of volunteers working tirelessly to unload the produce, unpack and sort it at any one of our network of food warehouses across the UK. The food might be surplus, but it looks and tastes just like the food you'd eat at home. Most of it arrives well before it would have hit the supermarket shelves. Food becomes surplus for all sorts of reasons. A glut of courgettes from overproduction or a lack of demand as unpredictable weather plays its part. Incorrect packaging and labelling, wonky fruits and veg, and cancelled orders. Wherever it comes from, with the support of our team of volunteers, we prioritise the incoming food, itemising it for traceability and breaking it down into smaller quantities for redistribution. Fair Share gives nearly 11,000 charities access to food, all of whom are onboarded safely and meet all food safety regulations. These charities and groups range from food banks, children's breakfast clubs and homeless centres to small local community groups. Not only does this food save charities thousands of pounds on their food bills, it means they can offer the people they support more fresh, healthy fruit and veg and a wider range of food in general. New innovations like the Fair Share Go app 
have seen direct pickups from the supermarkets, meaning perishable goods like fresh bread and fruit can quickly be redistributed. Fair share is more than meals though. Food brings people together. It helps local organisations tackle loneliness and isolation within their communities, or help connect struggling families with the services that can support them. It's such a simple concept. Food that could have been wasted is instead used for good. So how can you give us food? So suppliers are out there, many of you we deal with already, but those of you who work in the wholesalers, how can you give us food? Well, it is surprisingly simple. Some of you may know me from before. I've worked at several of the major multiples and spent 10 years at Unitas. But I do have to say, our network distribution at Fair Share takes some beating. We have um, the 31 regional centres that all have vans of various sizes. Some of them now have 18 tonners that they can come and collect in. We also use a variety of national logistics providers like Langdon's, Oatlands, and they will come and collect. So any food that you have that's surplus for any reason, we will come and collect it. Take it off your hands for free. Elliot and I did a little twinning up exercise and we've matched each of the JJ Food Service wholesale uh, depots to one of our regional centres and there isn't one that we can't reach. So if you do have any surplus, please let us know. So what food can we accept? Basically anything apart from alcohol and baby milk. But we can take packaging, labelling errors, surplus that's due to forecasting errors, stock that's below the minimum life on receipt, fruit and veg past its best before end date. We can now, um, because of the new wrap guidelines, take ambient food past its best before end date. We can have quality rejections. We recently just got nine pallets of pizza from a well-known high street retailer because they were a millimetre not thick enough. Um, we can take, well, they were quality rejections out of spec. Unfinished products, so any of the new JJ um, own brand foods that's had a kitchen trial at one of the factories, we can take white bags, bulk ingredients for manufacturing, anything, catering size products, discontinued samples, foreign label stock, damages, we love damages, damaged cases, we love them. Seasonal stock, have a look around your DC, see if you've got any mince pies, Christmas puddings, stuffing balls, pigs in blankets, and own label product, any of the suppliers out there, we have letters of authority from all the major retailers to say if it's their product in your factory and you don't want it, we can take it. So what happens to these food donations? We come and pick it up from you, free of charge. It goes off to our regional centres. It's then delivered to the 9,500 charities. They make it into meals and food parcels. So we continue to redistribute four meals a second across the UK. That's two and a half million meals every week. We normally ask for 48 hours life to give us time to pick it up. But in some cases, if it's very near to our regional centre, we could collect surplus for 24 hours life. So milk, produce, bread and anything at all, please contact either myself or your fair share regional centre to arrange collection. So when you get back to your warehouses, just have a little walk round, see if there's anything hiding in the corner that you've been walking past for six months and you don't really want, because we can take that off your hand. So here's some people you might recognise. So there's only Elliot can rock a high-vis jacket like that. But this was a donation of some pasta, um, which went from Enfield Depot to our, our London regional centre. So we can take pictures, we can um, put them on LinkedIn, we can give you PR. We have a whole marketing team that can sort that out for you. You might have noticed at the beginning that the title of my presentation was Get More Food. And when I joined um, Fair Share in May, my director of food said to me, Hilary, this is your job. Three words, get more food. So that's my job, that's why I'm here today. I'd like to thank JJ Food Service for inviting me. Now I want you all to get your phones out of your pocket, pretend you're at a festival. I want you to take a photograph of that, not for me. You can edit that out. But that's the email that I want you to use when you get back to let me know what surplus food you've got, what we could come and collect, 
and what will go to the people who need it most. So thank you for listening. <laughs>